I thought I brought home some hot blonde, but <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> The morning of the gig is weird. I wake up and boom, I'm thinking about being on stage. So if I don't address that state of anticipation nice and early, I'm kind of fighting with it all day and it can lead to just being overly nervous and anxious. So when I'm at home, the first thing I love to do is just to get in the garage, push some weights and then have some breakfast and just hang with my kids because hanging with my kids just makes me feel warm and fuzzy and it just normalizes everything. So I then go from being a seven to like, you know, a three or four, and it gives me room, you know, if, if I hit any um, potholes along the way. Tom and I head to Newcastle. Road trips are the best because you get lost in mad conversations, you exchange musical libraries, and it just, it's so important that when you're choosing somebody to be on your team, that they're not only musically compatible, but they have to be a mad hang because you, you spend more time with them off the stage than you do on the stage. And lucky for me, Tom, Kenny, everybody on my team, I just love being around. Love it when a group of men sing in harmony together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off traffic. Holiday. <laughs> Have you told all your friends? <laughs> Sponsor me holiday in. <laughs> so we get to the holiday in and Tom is somebody I will room with. I won't room with Kenny because it's like I'm in the same room as a volcano of like heavy breathing, but like mumble. And sometimes he gets really aggressive. Like I'll wake up and he's like, <laughs> twin room for Tom and I to share, but there's no door. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be weird. It's already weird. <laughs> there is a door. Look, it's just very uh, camouflaged. See? Bye bye. We do sound check and head straight to the beach. Like Newcastle weather that day was superb. Killing some time before the gig. Good place to do it. But I left my fucking board shorts at home. I mean, Kenny went in with his jeans and Tom stripped off to his little dick stickers, but I, I couldn't do it. Like, there's no way I'm getting into the ocean in um, my undies. Besides, I wasn't really wearing the type of undies that I'd want people to see anyway, so. Going in with his undies. I can't bring myself to do it, no way. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Look at him. There's junk hanging out. Nah, never. <laughs> Bro, there's kids around for God's sake. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Not in Newcastle, bro. <laughs> So this is the first gig of 2020 and I'm sitting there before the gig and it hits me like I don't feel nervous I'm just excited and it's it's crazy because it seems not that long ago that I'd be pacing up and down the streets before going on stage and the sleepless nights so it's pretty awesome to just only have positive visions in my head yeah it definitely showed me how far I've come <laughs> rocked out like I was leaning in so hard I was lost in the music I mean I was really going for it I had some mechanical difficulties my lead kept stuffing up and I was getting crackles from my amps but it just didn't matter it was really cool to see some of my own fans there as well and that's how I know that I've done my work as a support act because there's nothing worse than booking a support act and they do nothing and they bring nobody I'm a team player when it comes to that so anybody out there any other artist Artists that are booked to support another artist do the work bring your fans And then afterwards to get in the crowd and watch Motor Race absolutely tear it up. 
It's pretty sensational. And I don't know, that energy and that high that I felt pole vaulted me into the type of night that unfortunately finished off at King Street McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning. How the fuck have I ended up here? Oh my God. I thought I brought home some hot blonde, but <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it. <laughs> Great way to start 2020. And to come home now, and I'm this close to finishing Castles in the Sky, and it's sounding great. I'm really excited. So subscribe to my Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever. Um, you'll get that notification to say that my song is out. It'll be out very, very soon. And yeah, onwards from that, I'll be preparing for the Jeff Martin tour, which will take me up and down the East Coast. So yeah, 2020 is looking good. <laughs>